So I'm pissed, okay? This is a Joe Biden rant, okay? Because Joe Biden sucks. And I don't know how anyone can look at Joe Biden as a candidate and not say, this guy really sucks. Not only does he obviously stand for nothing, oh, don't worry, wealthy people, I'm going to fundamentally change nothing. So not only does he stand for nothing, not only is he going senile and is he having these crazy gaffes every time he speaks, but it's just the whole media is sucking his dick like he's some unifying, oh, we got to bring back, today he tweeted, or yesterday he tweeted, we got to bring back the soul of America. What the hell does it even mean? You're pulling out these bullshit platitudes. You actually have someone who stands for something. Bernie Sanders, who actually has a solid message, who actually wants to help this country. And the media and all these democratic establishment pieces of garbage want to throw that away and would rather nominate a boring, senile, do-nothing piece of garbage, empty suit, centrist politician. It's bullshit. It really is. What is Joe Biden offering you? And this is not just to the wealthy Democrats, okay? Because I understand why, you know, they like Joe Biden. Because they don't want to be... You know, the, the, pharmaceutical, the, the pharmaceutical industry doesn't want to be taken down. They don't want to be regulated. They don't want drug prices to go down, right? The health insurance industry doesn't want to be attacked. Wall Street doesn't want to be, you know, regulated. They don't want to be regulated. They want to be ranking on the profits like they always have. So they like Joe. Why do you think health insurance stocks went skyrocketing after Super Tuesday? when Joe won a bunch of states. Because they're like, yeah, we don't have to worry about being regulated. We're gonna still make a fortune by overcharging for healthcare and medication that people need. It's bullshit. It's fucking goddamn son of a bitch bullshit. And this is to the people who are voting for Joe Biden. Why? I'm sorry, but if you were voting for Joe Biden in South Carolina, Tennessee, wherever. If you are voting for Joe Biden simply because he's associated with Obama, he worked with Obama, you're an idiot. Okay? Oh, I'm Joe Biden. Listen, folks, I work with Obama. I rubbed his arm. I touched him once. I practically black myself. I'm a black man. I'm going to go to your church and sing hallelujah. And you all love me now because I'm, I'm practically one of you. I work with Obama and Obama's basically Jesus. It's bullshit. But not only was Obama, Obama was all right. He wasn't an amazing groundbreaking president. He didn't certainly didn't bring a lot of hope and change. You know, and that's the thing. Obama ran a campaign on change, but I guess now all of a sudden the Democratic Party doesn't want change. Like Bernie Sanders is offering. They want someone who's going to do fundamentally nothing. That's a great way to beat Trump. A senile candidate who's going to do nothing. Hmm? Doesn't that sound fun? A senile candidate who's going to bring us back to the golden Obama years when I guess everything was supposedly wonderful. When we still had that one of some of the highest health care in the world, costs in the world, and massive student debt, and poor infrastructure, and the whole drug prison situation, and all this stuff. We still had all these problems. You want to bring us back to those days when Mitch McConnell would veto everything and nothing got done. Oh, that sounds like a great period of history, doesn't it? Hmm? And I'm, and I'm reading some article by some centrist bullshit motherfucker or writer. And he's going, well, you know, the Bernie bros, they're playing into Trump's cards. They're pulling a Trump move. When they're criticizing Joe Biden's uh, uh, mental health, calling him senile, having dementia without any proof, they're, that's Trump's playbook. Well, listen, hasn't the media... And all these damn political pundits and politicians, haven't they been labeling Bernie some evil socialist? He's an un-American socialist. You're pulling the same crap that Trump would play. You're pulling right out of the Republican playbook. He's a socialist. He's evil. He's an un-American socialist communist. Bloomberg himself called him a communist or whatever in the debate. So you're all pulling from the Republican book 
Oh, he's a socialist. Americans don't want a socialist. They want America. Because America, God bless USA. You're pulling the same shit on Bernie. And then Bernie and his supporters are not supposed to tack back and say, hey, Joe Biden doesn't sound that mentally sound. Okay? And you say it's not verified? Well, I'm sorry. But when you are making gaffes every fucking time you speak, every speech you make, every freaking debate, you say something ridiculously stupid and you get confused, that raises questions. Do we want this man having control of the nuclear codes? I don't think so. I'm not comfortable. When you botch the Declaration of Independence, we hold these truths to be self, uh, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? And it's one thing if somebody asked you on the spot to remember the Declaration of Independence. It's another thing to be citing it willingly and then halfway through citing a quote you willingly chose to, to, to say, you forget it. You know what I mean? And when Joe Biden says, I'm running for United States Senate, He's in South Carolina. They voted for his dumb ass for some reason. They heard him say as they said, well, Joe Biden's dumb and old, senile, and stands for nothing. But we're going to vote for him anyway because I guess we're stupid. And he's associated with Obama. I'm so dumb, I think someone who worked with Obama must be Jesus. I don't know. It's bullshit. You know, he, Joe Biden literally said, I'm running for the United States Senate. He was talking in a speech in South Carolina, and he said, I need your help. I can't get elected without your help. And all these other, when, when Bill Clinton was running for president, he asked for your help. When Obama was running for president, he asked for your help. And now I, Joe Biden, am asking for your help. I am running for United States Senate. Right after he mentioned Obama and Bill Clinton running for president, he mentions he's running for S Senate right after that. That's how senile he's become. No, his senileness, his mental health, it's not been verified that he has dementia. No. But it's pretty damn obvious that he's not well based on what he's saying. So, we have all right to be skeptical. Okay. Talking about, oh, we're criticizing Ob uh, 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 Joe Biden too much. You know? They're criticizing Joe Biden. They're, they're, they're hurting the party. They're making it easy for Trump. Well, good. A candidate should be held to high standards. You should not be saying, oh, don't criticize Joe. Go easy on him because you're hurting his chances of beating Trump. No, we should go tough on Joe. Joe should be held to the highest standards possible because Trump is not going to go easy on Joe Biden. Trump is going to hit Joe Biden as hard as physically possible. And Joe Biden, if he is the nominee, needs to be able to withstand that. And he won't. Because if he's afraid of Bernie and Bernie supporters, you, you must not be aware of what Trump and his supporters will say to you. Any of the criticisms, legitimate criticisms, mind you, that Bernie Sanders supporters have to Joe Biden, legitimate criticisms, Trump criticisms are going to be twice as bad if not more. So, asking Bernie and Bernie supporters to be nice and go easy on him, just let him have the nominee, just go easy on Joe. No, we're gonna fight you every step of the way because you are a bad candidate. And, you know, you should be held accountable for your actions. When you say something stupid, we should question you on it. When you have a platform that's basically empty, we should question you on it. When you're running for president, not because you want to do anything, but simply, we gotta beat Donald Trump. He's just awful. Orange man, bad. We have to beat Trump. Orange man, bad. Oh, I don't stand for anything. You know, I represent Wall Street. But uh, yeah, orange man, bad. It's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Anyone who votes for Joe Biden is a goddamn fool. You're voting against your interests. You really are.